everyone, thanks for checking out the video I made for my 2014 Benthic Ecology Meeting poster in Jacksonville, Florida. Today I'll be talking about a project I did looking at how anthropogenically enhanced sedimentation impacts the succession of coral reef organisms. Some of you may know that Caribbean islands like Jamaica have experienced a massive increase in tourism since the 1950s, with annual visits from tourists rising from roughly 100,000 to over 2 million today. Of course, this increase, while beneficial to their economies, does place pressure on the island's natural resources as more hotels and resorts are built to accommodate the visitors. Unfortunately for tourists, the northern coast of Jamaica is naturally very rocky and so hotels and resorts must create artificial beaches, either by trucking in sand or by dredging it directly from the reef. The northern coast of Jamaica is also the windward side of the island and is therefore subject to wind and wave action that causes these beaches to erode onto adjacent reefs. And of course, the hotels must then replenish the lost sand, creating a cycle of chronic yet episodic erosion. To understand how this type of sedimentation affects the reef, I chose three locations near the Discovery Bay Marine Lab. These locations are all similar spur and groove reef tracks that experience a gradient of sedimentation. Pear Tree is the site with the highest sediment and is located adjacent to a large resort. The resort, pictured in the bottom right corner, has roughly a kilometer of artificial beach. The other two sites, Discovery Bay and Dairy Bowl, experience much lower sedimentation as their adjacent shorelines are all undeveloped. This photo here just illustrates the difference in reef composition between Dairy Bowl, a low sedimentation site, and Pear Tree, the highest sedimentation site. The questions I sought to answer in this study were, does anthropogenic sedimentation affect the taxonomic diversity, the percent cover of reef organisms, and the overall community of recruits? To answer these questions, I designed a succession study to evaluate how sediment affects the reef community. In August 2011, we used the pneumatic drill seen here to attach 20 terracotta tiles to these metal base plates you're seeing right now at two depths, 9 meters and 16 meters, at each of the three locations. The tiles were then left out on the reef and photographed at intervals of 6 months, 18 months, and 30 months using a custom-made camera frame. After photos were taken, tiles were immediately placed back on their base plates. This just shows what the tiles look like once they're attached to their base plates underwater and being photographed in their camera frames. Here you see a series of the same tile being photographed over the course of the experiment at 6 months, 18 months, and 30 months. Using a combination of coral point count and ImageJ image processing softwares, I identified organisms to the lowest taxonomic level and obtained the percent area cover from each tile. To determine whether sediment affects the recruitment diversity, the Shannon Diversity Index was calculated at each time point interval. Although these data are not technically independent since they are repeated measures from the same tiles, for a preliminary result we found it informative to analyze the diversity at each time point to understand the progression of diversity changes. Two way ANOVAs on diversity indices with location and depth as factors reveal that at six months both location and depth are significant. At 18 months, only depth is significant, and interestingly, at 30 months, no effect of location or depth is found on the diversity. The changes in percent cover of important reef organisms is shown here, although no significance tests were run on these data. In general, we get an increase in sponge, bryozoans, and ascidians, and a decrease in coral, algae, and bare space over time. Finally, to understand community succession as a whole, a second stage multi-dimensional scaling ordination was created. The second stage MDS plot is essentially an MDS plot of the pairwise similarities between MDS plots of subsetted data. Similarities between first stage multivariate patterns are assessed by rank-based matrix correlations, which preserves the non-parametric approach and deals well with repeated measures designs. More details and information can be found in the Clark et al. 2006 reference seen here. My second stage MDS plot shows that there are two distinct clusters of community succession. 
one consisting almost completely of the high sediment site, pear tree, which is the cluster on the left, and the other which is composed of both Discovery Bay and Dairy Bowl sites. An analysis of similarity shows that neither location or depth are significant. However, you'll notice that the left cluster has one Dairy Bowl deep point that seems to be a little out of place. This Dairy Bowl tile group is actually a very interesting case because this particular group was subjected to a natural sedimentation event when a sandbar shifted onto part of the deep Dairy Bowl site and deposited sediment onto this tile group. What's really interesting is that this tile community therefore associates closer with the tiles at the higher sedimentation site. This may also explain why location and depths were not significant in the Anasim, despite a very distinct separation of successional communities. All right, so to recap, the initial recruit diversity at the six month time point was significantly lower at the highest sediment site, although final diversity was not statistically different between site or depth. The change in percent cover of taxonomic groups was varied, but in general, coral, algae, and bare space decreased, while bryozoans, ascidians, and sponges increased. And finally, community succession was not significantly different. However, this may be because the anomalous Dariable Deep Site and further analysis is required. Thanks for watching my video brought to you by Brad Peterson's Marine Community Ecology Lab at Stony Brook University.